It is winter of 1969 and Bill Lawrie's Australia are playing against India led by the Nawab of Patodi. In the late 1960s, Australians were looked upon as world champions. They had previously beaten the West Indies and had held on to the Ashes. Now in India, they have won the first test in Bombay and the second test in Kanpur which had marked the debut of Vishwanath has been drawn. There is a link to the Kanpur test in the description below for those of you interested. Allow me a little digression here. Talking about Vishwanath in this autobiography, rest assured, Vishy gives a heartwarming account of his debut match that saw both despair and delight. We get to follow the journey of a boy from a middle class family from the narrow gullies of Bangalore to becoming India's ace match winner on international arenas. A must read for all Vishy fans. Now, in this upload, I present you an action-packed 8-minute footage of the third test in Delhi. Iron Chapel makes a sheet anchor innings of 138 not out, while the rest of the Australians crumble against the spin attack of Bedi and Prasanna. One reason for the spinner's success was the closing catching, something that was said to be non-existent in the history of Indian cricket as of that point in time. The footage has some electrifying catches by Solkar and Venkat. We also get to watch attacking batting by Mankat, Wadekar and Vishwanath. Finally, the icing on the cake, Vishy's match winning boundary. A victory for Australia by eight wickets in the first test at Bombay. Skipper Batardi tells Indian News Review. We hope that uh, we shall win the next test match. We certainly haven't lost uh, too much confidence because we feel capable of beating Australia. And we look forward to a very interesting series against them. Batardi's confidence inspired the Indian team to an honourable draw at Kanpur. One down in the series, would India do better at the Firosha Kotla ground in Delhi? Bill Lorry wins the toss and Australia go into bat. Guha to Lorre and he's out. A good beginning by India. Guha to Stackpole and he's dropped by Vishwanath. A costly lapse. Eventually, Engineer brings off a brilliant stumping and Stackpole is out for 61. Australia, 100 for 2. Ian Redpath batting after Walters was out at 105. A lofted drive to mid-on and Redpath is caught by Bedi. Australia, 117 for 4. Sheehan is bowled by Bedi and Australia in deep trouble at 133 for 5. But Chapel, undaunted, goes his merry way with strokes all round the wicket. A magnificent fight back. And Chapel gets his hundred. By way of celebration, Chapel hits another boundary. Bedi to Mackenzie, and he lifts him over the boundary for a glorious six. Prasanna to Gleeson, he's caught by Solker and Australia are all out for 296. <laughs> Bedi and Prasanna took four wickets each. <laughs> Engineer and Mankad go into open for India.
playing delightful attacking cricket, Engineer and Mankad put on 85 runs for the first wicket. Mankad is bold. Ah, but it's not out because that was a no ball. Gleason to Vishwana and driven to the long on boundary for four. Mallet to Mankard and he's caught by Walters for 97. What a pity he doesn't get his maiden test century. There goes Patoudi, caught by Chapel off Mallet. Gleason to Prasanna and he's out, LBW. Bedi's bold and India are all out for 223. A magnificent bowling performance by off-spinner Mallet, who has taken six wickets in India's first innings. Laurie and Stackpole go out to open Australia's second knock with a lead of 73. After only three overs are bowled, but Audi brings on the spinners. And in his very first over, Prasanna clean bowls Stackpole. From the other end, Bedi to Chapel, and he's caught by Solka for a duck. And Walters is bowled by Bedi, also for a duck. After hitting 1-4, red path 2 is bowled by Bedi. Australia are now 4 down for 24. Laurie tries to hold the innings together. When Sheehan is out, Australia are 5 down for 61 and Prasanna bags his 100th wicket in test cricket. Prasanna to Teba, a catch of his own bowling. Prasanna to Mallet and a brilliant catch by Venkat Raghavan. Australia 88 for 7. Bedi to Gleeson, caught by Vishwana. And Australia are 89 for 8. A sensational collapse. Connolly hits a defiant 6 off Prasanna. But in trying to repeat the shot, he skies the ball and Prasanna gets under it safely. Australia are all out for 107. Laurie carries his bat for 49, an innings of great patience and dedication. But full marks to Bedi and Prasanna, who have taken five wickets each. Needing 181 runs to win, India lose Engineer and Mankad for only 18 runs. The crowd is apprehensive. But then Bedi, sent in as night watchman, plays the innings of his life. Bedi is bowled by Connolly, but Wadikar is still there with 21. Connolly to Vishwanath, who plays as confidently as he did at Kanpur for a century in his first test. A scintillating cover drive by Wadikar signals his intention of attacking all the way. Both the batsmen are now on a run-getting spree towards the target of 181. Wadikar takes a single and India are level with Australia.
the winning hit by Vishwanath, and India have won the third test match by seven wickets. This is India's third victory over Australia. World Champions Australia, unbeaten since 1966, will now meet India at Calcutta on level terms to keep the series wide open.